and welcome back to the channel on this video I'm going to be riding the ride one up cafe cruiser as you see it right there so let's hop on and go for a ride so today we're going to talk about on this video uh, age and riding and is there a maximum age to ride an e-bike absolutely not so as far as riding an e-bike there's a minimum age for legal uh, reasons uh, many states now are implementing the 16 and over some are 14 but as far as maximum age there's no maximum age you could be 100 years old and ride a bike if you're capable so i would say as long as you can physically get on a bike and balance the bike and are able obviously to see then i think as long as your uh, reaction time is good enough too, that should be something else should be pointed out too. Because you sometimes have to come to a, kind of a quick stop. Uh, E-bikes are not going to be riding as fast as like a motorcycle or anything, but still, there are times when you might need to come to a sudden stop for whichever reason. Uh, so you do need to have reaction time. But, Uh, there's no requirements. I mean, even if you can't pedal a bike, if you can get on it and be able to maneuver it and uh, balance it, then um, you can still use it. I would recommend getting a throttle 100% because there may be times when you get too tired from pedaling or maybe you're just, you have one bad leg or two bad legs and you can't pedal, but you still want to get out and enjoy the scenes of a a bike and uh, the other option would be too that if you were uh, have any issues with balance then there is another way you can still ride and that's with a trike I would recommend a trike to anybody that has any trouble balancing a bike so when you're coming to a stop that's always the time when the balance is needed and the other option too would be probably i would recommend anybody with any issues at all if they still want a two-wheeler and do have a little bit of trouble balancing i would suggest getting a step through bike this is a step over you'd want this bar in the center here eliminated so that there's no bar here and then you can step on and off the bike a lot easier than having to throw your leg up over that uh, right now i'm physically able to do that but I mean, there probably will come a time when I won't be able to. But yeah, I know several people that are older. I don't know old is a relative thing. I mean, to some, if you're a 16-year-old, then 60 is old. But if you're 60, well, 100, I guess, is old. I don't know. But... Uh, it doesn't matter the age. I mean, I'm 59, and uh, I mean, I'm not a senior citizen quite yet, although in some circumstances, I guess I am. At age 55, some things are considered senior citizen, but if you go by the 65, but then again, there is many people that ride bikes. There's even YouTubers that are 65 or a lot more than that. I know uh, Russ is right if anybody watched his videos, and I'm sure you have, or have heard of him. He's uh, 65, he's mentioned it on his videos before about his age, and he, uh, he rides lots. Got lots of bikes and does a lot of e-bike riding, so uh, there's a perfect example, and he's had knee replacement surgeries, so. 
Yeah, there's no real requirement uh, age-wise or maximum. You can be anything, any age you want to be or any age you are. As long as you can physically get up on that bike and I'd say balance it, be able to control it. Yeah. Well, this bike just gets right up to speed. In pedal assist three, it kind of gets away from you. You almost need to go back to pedal assist two. Let's try that. So we get into pedal assist two. It gets to a little more manageable. Without it uh, ghost pedaling or anything on this bike, but yeah, I would definitely recommend for any older rider that uh, would like to get on a bike, I would recommend 100% to get a throttle on your bike because a hard part would be getting your bike started can be difficult, and if you have the throttle, it can start you off and then you can be on your way with your pedaling. That's the way I do it. Because these bikes are a little bit on the heavier side. That's why I say balancing might be tricky. This bike is 65 pounds to ride one up Cafe Cruiser, which is pretty good weight. I mean, it's not a heavy, heavy duty electric bike. It's, act bike. it's actually considered to be a little on the lighter side. And then you just start yourself off with the throttle when you come to a stop. Like we're going to show you right here. As I come to a stop, I'm going to be making a left turn before that car comes. So then we just throttled to get us going. And after a few seconds, away we go. And off we go with the pedaling and no problem at all. Sounds like I've got something rubbing like one of the fenders. I don't think it's in the back. I'm not sure what that is. It's only occasionally do I hear that. Sounds like a fender rub. I don't hear it now. Well, that's going to do it for this video. I thought I'd get out and talk about a little bit about uh, ages and riding the electric bike. Don't let your age deter you from riding. You can do it. And if anybody has any comments uh, on the video or any tips for anyone uh, on riding for older riders, men or women maybe you can leave a comment in the comments below and give off some of your tips that um, would help a rider who's maybe not ridden an e-bike before but are wanting to get one so that's going to do it for this video hey if you like this video go ahead and hit the like button if you'd like to subscribe to the channel just hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for uh, supporting us and if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit the notification bell and you'll be notified. And like I said earlier, if you want to leave a comment on this video or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. And once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time, keep your wheels on the road. See you later.